Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel again. Today we are going to see about the new service provided by the UAE government called UAE Pass. Um we'll we'll get into what exactly it is and uh, why do you need to get it and how you can get it in, in a couple of minutes. So the main topics that we're going to discuss uh, in this video is uh, what exactly is UAE pass what are some of the benefits of having a UAE pass and finally how can i get a UAE pass in 5 minutes what exactly is UAE pass UAE pass uh, as you can see from the home page is the first national digital identity service provided by the UAE government now it has lots of features and benefits uh but we'll get into some of the history around it as you can see from the home page ue pass was actually a collaboration between smart dubai and tra where in which they have uh, come up with an amazing uh, service and the service is available in almost all the local and federal government entities So first off uh, let's see what do you need to actually get in for UAE pass uh in order to actually access the application you need to have a smartphone and on the smartphone you can actually install the application and access uh, the different local and federal government entities with with the capability of providing a single identity the first benefit of having the application is to be able to authenticate yourself and prove your identity with a matter of couple of clicks and uh, uh, a pin uh, this makes it very easy to access the different services from different government portals uh, all with the help of just a smartphone uh one of the second uh, benefits of actually using ue pass is to be able to sign and verify any signed documents now this actually is a digital signature and uh, we'll understand more on details about what exactly a digital signature is but at this stage you need to just understand that any document that you used to sign physically you don't need to do that any longer in in ue Uh, all you have to use is your UAE pass on the mobile application and sign any document so these are the main two uh, uh, benefits of uh, UAE pass and in order to actually um, access and use the application you need to have a smartphone uh, the app is available both on app store and google play store uh, you can follow the link uh, in the description and download and install the application now to understand which all entities provide you the capability of accessing ue pass as you can see from the home page the list of service providers is huge you can see across lots of federal and local entities who have already started using ue pass and this number is growing by the day uh you could come over here and filter by the emirate you would want to look uh, if you were to take abu dhabi see these are the entities listed if you go to dubai you'll see a lot more entities that are listed and this uh, keeps on increasing by the day so let's say we are accessing uh, the diva website the dubai electricity and water authority website and you need to access all of the services we'll see how ue pass can actually help us over here so i'm going to click on login and as you can see login with ue pass is the new option that is available and this is available in many of the government portals so i'm going to click on login with ue pass and i'll put in my mobile number okay so sometimes you get this uh, 
So, as you can see, uh, you get a push notification on your mobile. And once you confirm the push notification and uh, key in the pin, simultaneously you will be now authenticated and logged in to the uh, Diva portal. See, so basically, uh, once you have enrolled and you have got a UE Pass uh, login, you can access the various government services. I'm going to log out here. Uh, you could do the same thing with uh, other portals as well, and I'll show you some of them. At the login page, you have again a similar option to log in with UA Pass. As I click on login with UA Pass, uh, you can see I have to key in my mobile number. I give click login with mobile number to fill out a few recaps information um, and once you're done you actually uh, get a push notification on the mobile and it says my this web portal requires you to log in and on the mobile application as you can see you have received a request to log in now once you confirm and you key in your pin uh, simultaneously on the portal of Etisalat you have been successfully logged in and you are now a valid user of the portal so by this you have actually authenticated yourself and have proven your identity and as you can see you no longer need to uh, remember a username and password and all of your identity is proven from just your um, gray pass uh, digital identity okay so now we have the UA Pass application installed on the mobile and I've opened it up to register myself. So as you can see it has some introductory information uh, indicating that it's the first national digital identity service provided by the UA government. Um, it will be the single mobile identity to access all the government services. Uh, one of the most important benefits is that it's a passwordless sign-in capability so you don't need to remember a password while accessing your different portals it's a uh, passwordless sign-in option uh, finally you have the capability to digitally sign documents so you don't have to physically sign them anymore and you can also validate the documents so let's get started and see how the uh, registration uh, takes place so now you have two choices you could either create an account or you could uh, start from having a pre previous account so let's go with uh, create account now uh, it is preferable to start the journey using an emirates id so i'm going to actually start it with uh, my emirates identity card so at this stage you choose to actually scan your emirates id so i can just click on yes scan now you need to scan the back side of the card so as soon as I scan the back side, it uh, retrieves details of uh, your your person who is registering. Uh, you can make some modification if any of the information is incorrect. Uh, once you click on confirm, you need to give in a mobile number and an email address. So now make sure that this mobile number is something you have access to. it's important to make sure that you own the mobile number and the email address once you have a key in the mobile number and email address you can click on verify since I'm actually registering the account again it's saying that you can recover the account so I'm going to just continue creating the account now you should be receiving an OTP very soon
Yeah, so the OTP is come. As you can see, it is three eight five four. So that actually verifies your uh, mobile number. Now you actually click on verify email, and uh, you should receive an email OTP on the email that you had just registered. Yes, so I've just received the OTP. I'm going to key it in. Now you need to actually set a pin. So this pin is uh, uh, to protect the application from unauthorized access and you can have a pin per uh, device. So I'm going to set a pin now. Uh, re Re-enter the pin. And once your pin has been verified and it's uh, confirmed, uh, you should receive a page indicating that your profile is getting created and uh, you're ready to go. So as you can see right now you have created a basic account and basic account is the first set of account that you have to create with UAPAS and uh, now you can actually say you have an option to verify your account or verify your account later. I'm going to choose verify my account later. Now you key in your pin again. So by doing so, you now have a basic account.